Lisa here, and I'm so excited to see you. Guess what? It's a brand new month. It's April. April Fool's Day. Hey guys, Matt here at the Playhouse. It's a brand new month. It's a brand new month. Do you know what that means? <gasps> Twilight? No. Oh. It means a brand new big idea, a brand new Bible verse, and a brand new worship song. Right now? Right now! Wow. I'm so excited. Let's start with our big idea. Okay. Who is my good friend? That's right. Let's do it again. Who is my good friend? Jesus is my good friend. Awesome. Let's do it one more time in a super proud voice. A super proud voice. A super proud voice. A super proud voice. Yes. Okay. Who is my good friend? Two epic music. Jesus is my good friend. Excellent. Let's be awesome together. Now, let's learn our new Bible verse. Here we go. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Great. Let's use our proud voice again. <coughs> For the Bible verse? For the Bible verse. For the Bible verse. For the Bible. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Awesome. Now, let's close up our Bible. Fold up our Bible verse. And put God's Word in our hearts. Great job. Hey, have, have you seen these? These right here! Oh yeah, I did see these all over the floor earlier. They look like... They look like elephant ears! No! <gasps> They're palm branches! They're palm branches! Yes! The and beach! There's... The beach! The beach! And there's a story in the Bible about palm branches! There is? Yeah! I don't remember that one. Yeah. My friend Daniel told it to me. In the Bible, there's a story of when Jesus came to visit his friends and they were so excited, they brought palm branches. They were so, like a gift? I don't know. We should listen to the story and find out. That's a great idea. Would you like to hear this awesome story about Jesus and palm branches? Let's do it! Hey everybody, I'm Daniel and I am super excited to tell you about something that I just read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible! And the Bible is super important because it lets us know how much God loves us. And so I was reading my Bible and I just have to tell you it. So, I want everyone to close your eyes. Close your eyes, that means you too. And we're gonna close our eyes and pretend that we're gonna take a trip back in time. So we're gonna close our eyes, keep them closed, and we're gonna travel back, back, and even further back in time. And then when we open our eyes, not yet, not yet, but when we open our eyes, we're gonna be imagining that we're gonna sit on the side of a dirt road in a far, far away place called Jerusalem. Everyone there was in a hurry, but everyone was excited because they wanted to see something special. Okay, so three, two, one, open your eyes. Whoa, look at all the people. They were all waiting to see someone pass through town. And you know who that was? It was Jesus. And Jesus didn't just walk into town. Nope, he had two of his friends go and find him a donkey. And when they found the donkey, they brought it back to Jesus and then took off their coats and laid them over the donkey for Jesus to sit on. So, Jesus came into Jerusalem riding a donkey. And everyone was so excited to see Jesus because they knew that he was the best friend that they could ever have. 
And they were so excited that they were lining the streets just to see him. And they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, which is basically their way of saying, hooray, yay, Jesus. So let's say that. Hosanna, Hosanna, yay, Jesus. They were having a parade for Jesus because they were so excited. They knew that Jesus was the best friend that they could ever have because he's your good friend and he's my good friend. They had palm leaves like this and they were laying them on the ground. And when he passed by, they were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, yay, Jesus. And we can have a parade for Jesus just like they did to celebrate just how good of a friend Jesus is. So everyone stand up, stand up right where you are and put your hands in the air and pretend to have your own palm branches. And we're gonna wave them back and forth. Hosanna, Hosanna, yay, Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, yay, Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, yay, Jesus. Everyone was so excited to see Jesus because they knew that he was their good friend and they were celebrating just how good of a friend he was because he is your good friend and he is my good friend. And you can always remember how good of a friend Jesus is wherever you are, when you're at home eating lunch or riding in the car or when you're in bed at night. Jesus is your good friend and he's my good friend. So let's pray and thank God for Jesus. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for letting us celebrate having a good friend like Jesus. I love you. Amen. That is amazing, guys. And you can have a parade for Jesus whenever you want to celebrate just how good of a friend he is. Hosanna, Hosanna, yay, Jesus! Wow, that was such a cool story! I loved hearing about Jesus and how he walked on the palm branches and how the people threw them on the ground because they knew Jesus is a good friend. <laughs> and the road was probably dirty too, so he walked on top of them. Yeah, the road was dirty. Hmm. Hey, wouldn't it be super cool if we had our own palm branch parade? A, a palm? Branch parade? A palm branch parade. That sounds fantastic. Let's do it. Okay. Friends, all you need to do is grab some palm branches like we have. But if you don't have any at home, you can use your hands. You ready? Let's go. Everybody up and say Hosanna. Let's do it. Hosanna. Oh. Jesus is a good friend.